in order to understand the miracle and why it happened we need to see the envelope the surroundings of this miracle we need to see how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam reached the level proving to humanity there is no one who could have this message reach other people but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He went to a ta'if. From Mecca to a ta'if. Traveling. Not by cars. Not on the back of horses or camels. He went walking for 80 kilometers. He went walking for what reason? Just to deliver the message. To convey the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was calling people to Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. See here this compassion he had in his heart for the people of Al-Ta'if. Maybe they would support him to have this da'wah, this message reaching the corners of Arabia. He went walking sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. He had no companion with him. He went sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam walking. He reached a ta'if and called people to Islam. In return, you are all familiar with the type of insults, with the type of of humiliation he received from the people of a ta'if they had their children throwing stones at him following him he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam found refuge in a farm and stood there and started making invocation to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a person of us human beings other than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam would have a curse on these people would have hatred for such people or at least he would say there's no point in calling these people to Islam a person would become probably like us would become hopeless but look at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam